What is up, Cine Pals? I'm Achara Kirk, joined by Steph Sabra. Hello. What up, bra? What up? We are carrying on with this amazing season of Daredevil. We were just talking uh, in between sets and we were like, this is the best Daredevil season we think ever. This is just elite television. Elite, elite, elite television. So, so good. We're enjoying this a lot and um, it's just... <laughs> We don't feel okay. No, no. We before we started this episode, we're like, okay. <sighs> <laughs> it's a we're not okay, but it's so addictive. We yeah. have to know what happens next. So we're gonna carry on with this. This is episode ten of uh, season three of Daredevil. Karen, finally, we're gonna get to learn more about the enigmatic Karen, and I cannot wait. If you guys want to watch the entire episode along with us, you can do that on our Patreon, patreoncom jabbykaway or by becoming a member of the channel. You do need your own Disney Plus subscription though, in order to watch along with us. Just letting you know. If you're enjoying what you're watching, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video. Let's get into it. <laughs> Oh, is this Karen? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jose yeah. Cuervo at a college party. Realistic. Mm-hmm. Definitely uh, recognize this situation. I've never done an ice luge, though. Oh, Karen! That's a oh, I've never done this either. For disaster. Too much alcohol. Wow, she's really putting on quite the show. Oh. Yo, let me get a grant. Uh, yeah, that'll be a hundred. Help me out. I can give you like sixty. Six. That's beer money. I don't sell beer. Hey. No. Oh. Whoa, okay. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I didn't quite catch that. God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now he's sorry. Wow, she had an interesting life, eh? Okay, we're finally after three seasons going to be getting a little more into Karen. Yeah. Seems like. No wonder she's hiding so much. Yeah, she was a dealer. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> How do we do? Ooh, thank God for midterms. <laughs> <laughs> the window was making me feel unsettled. This whole thing's making me unsettled. Shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I just, uh, I overslept. No, 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 I stayed at Rhiannon's. Okay, okay, relax, relax. I'll be there in a minute, okay? Penny's place. Yeah, I don't know. Is that like a restaurant or something? Or... Mm. That was uh, Fagan's Corner was the address that she put in when she was going to go see her dad. Mm. Oh. You were at Lynch's picking up pastries. Where the hell have you been? Sorry, I uh, put the bakery getting pastries, but they're not ready yet. Alice is home, by the way. Your brother could have done that. I, I need you here to prep the front. Oh, gosh. 601, Karen. <sighs> nice to see you, too. Wow. You said your coffee's on me today. Eggs and sausage? It's not too much trouble for you. Sausage and eggs? I want to BLT today. Hey, have I told you lately that you suck? Yeah, probably. Where's dad? Delivers here. No, 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 Cisco already came this week. Oh my gosh, I'm so stressed. Yeah. This girl costs $5,000. How are we going to pay for that? Pat Cardo says they're going to reopen the ski no. runs real soon. No. And we're going to be swarming Pat's customers. been saying that for 10 years. Hey, you said you had something you want me to sign, yes? Yeah, it's in the truck. Oh, no. Anything else? New eggs would be nice. Oh no, oh no, oh yuck. Are you okay, Toots? Uh, yeah, no, it's just been, it's been dry lately, I think you. You know, studies show hand-eye coordination improves 110% when you're sober. 
Maybe use less butter and they won't slide off the plate. Hmm. Fine, I do drugs, right? I'm a, I'm a big junkie. I'm just two lines away from giving blowjobs for heroin on the street. Thanks for the intervention. I won't touch it again. Are we going to be done? It's not what I'm talking about. I'm going to go blow off steam. It's none of your goddamn business. What? what Read it. You need to be nicer to him. No, I deferred. Yeah, I deferred you. I believe the traditional response is thank you. How could you do this? Because you got to get out of here, Karen. Mm. Aww. You can't go to college. You miss me too much. Mm -hmm. Seriously. You gonna go? Both? No, I'm not going anywhere. Wow. Well, she definitely knows how to handle a gun. Nothing's permanent, Karen. Big in corners is. Sometimes I feel like I could burn that diner down and it would just respawn by morning. Not have used diesel. <laughs> it's good to know. That'll come in useful when I can't find the five grand to pay for that grill. If you want to make some real money, you could always come work with me full time. Pay off that grill in a week. And you and me together, we could take this thing to the next level. Hey, Dad. <clears throat> hey. Hey. What's going on? Dad said I had to come back right away. I just wanted you here for dinner, little girl. Come on, sit down, honey. We're going to have dinner like a family. We won't be able to once you go off to college now, will we? <sighs> Don't worry about us. You should go. Dad, I'm not going anywhere. Kevin and I will get by. Besides that, you know, it's obvious you're bored here. It's affecting your work. Yeah, it's not what's affecting her work. Sorry, you have a problem with my work? You're late all the time. You go out most nights running around with that Todd Neiman loser. Yeah, problem well, Mom hated it. this place. She hated this whole town and you never saw it. She loved this place. This was her home. No, she loved you. That is the only reason she stuck around. She felt like she was dying here a long time before she got cancer. Oh, wow. You take that back. You ever wonder why Mom kept buying lottery tickets? She bought them for something to hope on when she went into remission. Yeah, and you know what she was hoping? She was hoping that if she ever got a second chance, she would get us the hell out of here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where are you going? You can't just leave. Kevin. You should have asked her before you sent that college letter. I'm not talking to you, asshole. Come on, let's just go. You're lucky your sister's hot. What? Hey, does Bernie know you sell Todd? Maybe he should. What did you just say? You heard me. Hey, 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 just... hey, no, 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 no. hey, 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 I go to jail too. Is that what you want, Kevin? Just go inside. Oh my god, this is gonna be so bad. Yeah. Jeez, this is so sad. You're lucky your sister's hot? Oh, jeez. Oh, what? Oh, hell. Kevin? Oh, gosh. Oh, away from my sister! <gasps> Oh no. Todd, no! Oh what? Oh. Hey. No my god. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. You get away from him, Todd! <gasps> oh! Get the car, drive, 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 drive. Oh no. She's drunk and high. Christ, what's the matter with you? I was gonna fix it, I was gonna fix it. You ruined it. Why, why would you do that? What's happening? I already lost Bob. Pay attention! Oh my god. Wow. Oh no. This is so sad. This is not how I pictured it. Oh, he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, was he? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. 
Well, she definitely would get a DUI, right? And that's manslaughter? Yeah. She wouldn't get first degree, but she would she would go to serve time. <laughs> Jeez, that's so heartbreaking. Maybe not because she was fleeing. I don't know. That's yeah. complicated. Dang. They don't even like each other. You weren't there. Bernie's going to say it was just Kevin in the car. Wow. He's going to omit certain other details. Dad. And you'd go to prison. Yeah. Reverend Shockney called. Kevin's arrangements. It's okay. I'll take care of it. Leave. Oof. I don't want you here, Karen. Yikes. I don't know. This is so complicated. Yeah. Oh, that was whoa. even worse than I imagined it was gonna same, be. Same, same. I thought there was gonna be like a kitchen fire or something. I thought she shot him by accident or something. Or realized it was a bloody car accident. I don't know what she should have done in that situation though. It's so hard. Yeah. Like the guy was gonna kill him. Yeah. But it's just like a whole bunch of bad life choices right, led to being right, in that situation. Right. Sister Maggie called. She said she'd have some options for you by the end of the day. I'm getting ready to say mass. Um, you could come up if you'd like. Not Catholic. Hell, if you get strict about it, neither are most of the people who come here. <laughs> Father, what do you do when you realize that you've lost? A man I helped raise as a boy he came to see me recently. Matt. I had a choice of evils. He blames me for the ones I chose, for the way his life turned out. I can't argue with him. I just have to find a way to live with it. Yeah. That's an interesting comparison. Everything will be okay in the end. It's not okay. It's not the end. It's not the end. John Lennon said that. Who are we to argue with a beetle? <laughs> there was one person, an employee, that I let become my friend. Eventually, he was like a son to me, James Wesley. Yeah. I've read his file. You're like him in many ways. He, too, was always prepared. When I sent you to the bulletin, it was to discredit Daredevil and the reporter who helped him become a hero. I didn't know at the time, but Karen Page killed Wesley. Yes. I want you to kill Karen Page. Ooh, jeez. What does Fisk want with Karen? He wants her killed. Oh, dude, how quickly can you get there? The events of recent days have been deeply troubling, especially for us here in Hell's Kitchen. He's downstairs. What are you going to do? How long until he gets here? Oh, seconds. <sighs> oh, jeez, choices. He'll triple security. Getting back in here will be impossible. You'll never have another chance like this. Oh, God. Wait for me over there. Keep the car running. I'll be back soon. Oh, my God. Don't worry, partner. I'll do us proud. Oh, we are being told that we are not strong. Why does she have to tell him he was here? Karen Page! Oh, shit. Where? It's nice to see you again. Screw you. Yes! Oh my gosh, Whoa. the stress. Yeah. He's just kill gonna kill people in church. It's like, you don't understand the meaning of sanctuary. How is he that much, like, feels, like, stronger because of the suit and the batons? I guess, yeah. No, no, no! I 
No protection. God, Matthew, Jesus, you had him. Ugh. Dang. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. No projectiles. No. Oh, he's a psycho. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys. Oh, yeah, hit him with the Bible. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm the one you want, right? Jeez, don't let him throw anything at you. Oh no! Oh, they're like little bullets. I've totally seen Daredevil throw stuff with accurate precision, though. Karen. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? Uh oh. Um, dude, no. I would run down and make sure that he's dead. I can't, can't let him leave. <laughs> Ugh. No, he's gone. It's okay. What's the symbolism right there with the cross? Oh my gosh, Ooh. you guys! Oh, jeez. Uh, I knew that was I like the heaviest episode. Die. Yeah, you did. Uh, the two things that I remember oh. from this season. I thought you might die once he was giving like this grandiose speech. The speech, yeah. But damn, yeah, that was like the, a really dark episode. It was so good too, cause like I I don't know if there have been many times when I've watched a fight scene, but be as emotionally invested as I was because of just how they've built up all mm -hmm, the characters mm -hmm. and stuff. Like, I love Father Paul. He's been such a cool character throughout the seasons. He's basically a father figure for Matt. And then to have him, that was just so brutal because, yeah, I mean, he's literally like a cat playing with his food, right? It's like, you're here for Karen. You could have just killed Karen, but instead- Yeah, but he's psycho. Yeah. Yeah, he like loves the opportunity. Exactly. So he just did this super nasty thing, which I mean, of course we don't want Karen to die, but that was just like, ugh. And then when he's like, forgive us. I'm like, Oh my ugh. God. Like, ugh. Ugh. like, damn. Ugh. It was so- so messed up but yeah and it's crazy watching daredevil have this like worthy opponent like this yeah who is like seemingly unbeatable and relentless and it just like is like really like he's scary this guy is not to be trifled with and it's really hard watching our hero just get knocked down yeah like that constantly and it's not like that's the first time in the season he's basically been getting a beating for this entire season yeah yeah fully like by the world by like the people he's trying to put down like yeah by Dexter by Fisk, like literally everyone. Everyone. It's like him against the world. It's a lot. The season is so heavy, but just so good. And like, 
I, I love how the characters are just so multi-layered because you you look at Karen's past and it's like, yeah, she was a little bit of a shit back then. Like she made some really terrible choices, but like, haven't we all, you know? Totally, like, yeah, she made like choices out of desperation and depression and yeah. grief and, you know, pressure and like she was a kid. Exactly. And so it's really hard when you get yourself in a really bad position like that. Like it, they did such a good job of making a story comprehensive, but also complicated things even further than I thought it would be complicated. Yeah, because even watching her, her dad and in the few scenes yeah. that he had, like fully in the last episode, I was like, he's a piece of shit. Yeah, from the phone call. Yeah, from the phone call. Then you watch that and you see like and how like, they related oh. to each other. It's like, I get it. But also, that really sucks, you know? Because, like, I wonder, in a situation like that... What do you do? What do you do as a parent? One of your kids was in a car crash with the other kid. The one that was driving the car survived. And the, and the younger son... And was belligerent. Yeah, and the younger son died. Of course, you're going to feel rage and you're going to feel... You're going to want to blame that other child. But that's your child. How do you reconcile that? You know, this man lost his wife and then you lose a child, which is like the most unimaginable loss yeah. anyone can ever Because you don't think that you're going to outlive your child No, because you're not supposed to. That's not natural. Yeah. It's yeah. like the one very unnatural death in this world. Yeah. All death, mostly, a lot of death is natural, but your child going before you is like... It's not. not. Yeah. And so it's like you empathize with every single character. Like I empathize with Dexter. Yeah. I think he's an absolute psychopath who should be like behind bars for the rest of his life because yeah. he's a danger to himself and others. But I get his story now because yeah. it was so well written. Well, even like the question is like, is it, are you able to rehabilitate people like him? Because for a long time, following the rules of his uh, psychiatrist or his therapist, like he was able to be a functional member of society and he was giving back and he was serving and he was doing good but he was in positions where he could kill though, yeah too. yeah exactly like, i mean better legal than not but like still like as a cop if someone's surrendering you can't kill them yeah no that's very very wrong and so like it's it's complicated like the idea of rehabilitation which i do believe in but like when someone's like truly a psychopath yeah yeah you need different precautions like it's not like oh you we can rehabilitate you because let's say you had an armed robbery but didn't murder anyone and like that i just i think you deserve to be able to work again you know what i mean yeah and, but like if you killed baby kittens and yeah, there's your something, coach there, <laughs> yeah there is something like really really wrong really it. unsettling yeah it's like what do you do what do you do like yeah put this child in an institution for the rest of his life it's it's all like really interesting kind of questions that the right, show right. is making us ask and with it's, religion and forgiveness yeah and, yeah it's like how do you how do you know. do all these things it's just so mind blowing yeah good yeah it's so good it's so suspenseful like you don't know what's gonna happen i love the mystery aspect of this show yeah that it's like genuinely a lot of it is a mystery that you're figuring out and finding out and they're like okay taking the time yeah you know this karen plot is three seasons in yeah like they like never jumped the gun on it and then it seems like now it accumulated to the most peak point that it could yeah because I, I i you know i'm someone who kind of really tries to pay attention to all the clues but i, I misread everything yeah like she was so cryptic and enigmatic with whatever information that she gave i don't know how i got to the assumption that she accidentally shot her brother i had a feeling that it was an accident like i don't feel like karen is a cold-blooded no, murderer of yeah of course i yeah. think they said things along the lines of like you know people believe what they want to believe like yeah. you know they kind of like put these words of dialogue out there that made us be like oh like and then she's good with a gun as well right so right it was kind of like oh right. that makes the most sense where it it actually was something that in a way i mean i, I think, mean she kind of did kill him yeah accidentally I mean, both situations if it was she accidentally shot him with a gun or and and it, what happened here where she you know crashed. drove the car and, and crashed they're both really bad really bad yeah it's just a different weapon Exactly. Yeah. And it's like, and the question is like, how, at what point 
do you forgive yourself for doing that? I don't know. Yeah. It's like the the thing with uh, Father Paul where he's just like, you know, you just have to you just have to find a way. And yeah, I, I guess that's what we're all struggling with is like what how can you forgive yourself or how can you do better? It's not it's not like forgive yourself but don't learn anything, don't learn the lessons and just move on and pretend it never happened. Like that's not I don't think that's the point. Yeah. I think it might be like what Sister Maggie was saying is like you just have to learn to live with your choices and then yeah. try to do right. Exactly. Just try and do the best you can after. Yeah. Cuz like what can you do? It's like uh, my dad always says you can't manage the past, right? No. And so so if you want to stay alive, if you want to be alive and like live, there's you have to find a way to live. Yeah, with the choices that yeah, you make. Yeah. Cuz like what well, what are we but like the sum of our choices? Yeah. Jeez. Oh man. What a deep Like deep what's going to happen? There's 3 <laughs> episodes left. <laughs> This feels so different from the Marvel shows that we get now. Yes, yes, like I can't even compare them. Yeah. This is like truly like, like, when I think of shows that are so top tier that you're like, wow, like this will be talked about forever. You know, you think of a lot of HBO shows. Yeah. This feels like an HBO show. Yeah, it's like (laughs) really, it's really dark. Yeah. And it makes you think, it makes you feel things. And it doesn't feel like there's characters added just for like comic book, like Easter eggs or... Right. Which isn't bad, you know, like I love Star Wars and Marvel and DC, but this one feels like it was just like totally, like it used what it needed to use and then just made a really great television show. Yeah. And it's not like trying to bridge together a, a bunch of stuff. A whole universe, yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, they kind of did that with the defense which was okay but I, I much prefer this where it's like let's explore the characters and like really go into Daredevil his backstory but then also and Hell's Kitchen yeah like Hell's Kitchen and all of his characters of like friends and uh, enemies everyone like no one is left no, no. I feel covered. like I have the police file of everyone. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know everyone. And it's weird because like, I, I have been enjoying the, the Marvel shows, but then when you kind of like, like the recent Marvel shows, obviously, but when you kind of like compare them side by side, it's like, oh yeah, this feels so much more adult. And the other shows are really great fun. And I, uh, as a yeah, fan, like I like enjoy fun. keeping up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. Because even when you look at... Moon Knight, a character, Oscar Isaac, is, like, this, you know, profound actor. Yeah. That we, like, everyone knows. And, like, the character, I think, has, like, a lot of depth and, like, there's murder in that yeah. story. But it was just, like, way lighter. Yeah. Like, way... I don't know. And I, I hate to compare, but it just doesn't touch you in the same way. Like, I had to, like, kind of force myself to finish some, like, half of the Marvel shows so I could stay in touch. In touch, yeah. But not because I was, like... What happens next? <laughs> like this. Yeah, this is just like, oh my god. I my heart hurts right now. I know that was really heavy. I feel like I can't breathe. I know. So we're gonna stop. You yeah. Guys, <laughs> and and feel better and then we'll come back to it. So make sure that you're subscribed with the bell icon on, hit all notifications and upvote this video if you enjoy getting your heart ripped out and stumped on <gasps> like we do. And uh, we'll see you soon. I'm Achara Kirk. This is... Stuff's Ciao.